Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the Java program. So let's say we have a string, which is a simple string, and you want to remove the duplicate characters from this string. The string. So what would be your approach? So this program has been asked in many of the interviews. So you want to remove the duplicate. So your out output so currently you have this as your string but your output should be this because e which is repeated which should not come again right so we would be writing this program today so let me open ide and let me start writing this program yeah so we have created a new class, which is removing duplicates. And in this, we'll simply write one main method. Right? Okay. Right, public static void main, string arguments, and we'll take one of our string, str equal to, take welcome here, and we'll take string new str equal to just double inverted comma for now. Right now, let's think on this approach so we want to remove the duplicate characters so we'll go with the for loop and in the for loop what we will do is we'll start with one of the variable integer i equal to zero till what particular extent i want to run this loop i want to traverse through so i'll be taking into the consideration the string that i have right so i'll say i is less than str dot length right till that particular limit i want to traverse right so tomorrow in an interview you might get some different string right that is also possible so we'll be keeping i plus plus here right and then we'll say what is this new string so before we go to new string we also would like to have what characters are coming at those every indexes so you have this particular method character at so str dot character at of index i right this is also one of the method that we will be using so what we would be doing is we will be keeping the if condition here if our new string dot or let me take one variable here i'll put this value first of all in one of the variables so let me take one variable character ch equal to str this older string dot character at of so what it, it will do it will return you the values that are coming at those particular indexes right now we'll keep that if condition if my new str dot character right this is your character dot new str dot next right so we'll write character at of instead of this let me write new str dot index of ch okay and let me write uh, operator here is equal to minus one 
right? So if I'm getting this value as minus one, then what I would do is, see, I want to increment whenever I'm not getting the repeated value, right? But if I'm getting the repeated value, then I'm putting like it, it, it becomes equal to minus one and then I don't want to add those values further. So what I would do is new str equal to new str plus ch right and then what i would do is i'll just print this thing system dot out dot until then new str so please understand this we are going for a brute force technique here what we have done is i want to iterate this loop for the length of the string one second till what length it starts from zero so whatever the length is there till that it will run this loop this character at of i it will return you the character at that particular index right so starting from the first one right till the end one now what i am doing is if my new str the string which i am trying to fetch without any repeated without any duplicates right dot index of ch right is equal to minus one then what i would do is i would add these things at the end of my new string itself i'll concatenate this thing then i'll print the string so let me run this program now current file right see this is your output now what mistake i have done here is i have printing this within this loop itself so let this for loop bracket is open here it gets closed here so let me put it here okay now let me run this file see e was the repeated character it got removed how we are going for a for loop. Within the for loop, we are trying to fetch the character at that particular indexes, right? And then we are checking in this string if that index is available, right? If it is available, is it, 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 we are putting that if condition, the condition, right? And if it is not available, then and then only we are concatenating it, right? So at the end of the concatenation, so whenever you'll have W, E, L, C, O, M will come as is, right? And then E is the one which is getting repeated, right? So if it is already there, then is equal to minus one, then it won't get, right? So that is the output you are getting here, right? So a simple program, which has been asked so many times and many times people do get confused, right? To answer these things. So, a simple program on this right so a simple logic right now in order to simplify your understanding what i have done is i have added two more e at the end and i am also printing what is this index that is coming up so whenever it is equal to minus one then it will concatenate and if it is not equal to minus one if it is some other the value then it will not concatenate. So let me run this program once so that you get a better idea, better clarity. See, W minus one, E first time minus one, L minus one, C minus one, O minus one, M minus one. E, E, E is coming, right? So that is one. So that will not go within this. That is why you're getting this as welcome only, right? So I hope this was easy to understand, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.